Fools, Social Security is a very complex program, and it's more important now than ever before that you make the most of it in order to provide as much income as possible for your retirement. But how do you navigate the complicated rules that govern Social Security benefits? My name is Dan Kaplinger. I'm the Motley Fool's Director of Investment Planning, and I'm here today to talk about the smart Social Security strategy that nobody knows about. Now, a lot of people, especially married couples, have various options to help them maximize their family's Social Security benefits. And one very popular strategy involves the file and suspend method. But there's one other strategy that a lot of people never consider. They may not even know that it exists, but in many cases it provides even better benefits than that file and suspend strategy. And the name of that is, it's often referred to is the restricted application strategy. And here's basically how it works. When one spouse reaches full retirement age, that person can apply for benefits that are restricted only to their spousal benefits. In other words, they leave their own benefits, the benefits that are based on their own work history, untouched, and instead only claim spousal benefits based on their spouse's work history. What that does is it allows you to take benefits then at the full retirement age while allowing the benefits based on your own work history to continue rising in value. Because every year you wait after your full retirement age, you boost your monthly payment by about 8%. Meaning if you wait from age 66 to age 70, you can boost your benefits by as much as almost a third. And so it really makes sense in that situation to go ahead and do that. Now, question, when does it make the most sense to use this strategy, this restricted application strategy, rather than something like file and suspend? And the answer has to do with the relative uh, amount of benefits that each spouse gets. When the two work histories are relatively close to each other, it makes more sense to consider, in general, a restricted application strategy. On the other hand, if you have one spouse with no or relatively little work history, it's more often the case that you're going to see the file and suspend uh, strategy work better. So it's something to consider both, uh, both options and see which one works better for your particular situation, which one gives you the higher amount of total benefits in the long run. For more on Social Security, be sure to stay tuned to Fool.com for more information. Thanks for watching, and Fool on!